Elder Goth Extraordinaire. Oh my god, I made a rhyme and I'm in Target. And I'm going to show you some affordable goth finds at Target because look what I just found. This huge set of crazy little rings. They're all silver and black. This wire one is actually pretty cool. $12 for all these. $12. Let's find some more stuff. There's also this one that has the choker. This is 12 for all of these. You could layer them, not super gothy, but you could make it work. I mean, come on, we're, we're talking making it work here, right? Uh, oh my God, look, they have these with like the dice and the little, oh my God. I almost wanna get this just because it has earrings that are, oh, are you kidding? $8, eight, is it eight? Yep. $8 for these. Okay, I kind of want it just for the little pins because I used to do that. I can't believe they actually sell them now. Mine were free. Um, well, lots of crazy sunglasses. This is kind of cool too for the ear stuff. $8 for that. I, ooh, I like this one behind me that has the stars across the top. So these are eight. Let's see what else we can find. If you just want a whole bunch of little earrings, I mean, there's one, two, three that have pink in them. The silver roses are cool though. I'm actually thinking about getting these. It's 15 for these, but there's little wings, there's doves, there's stars. These little black ones are great. Ooh, I really like this. I mean, you could get away with the pink too. But what is this? Three, six, nine, twelve, three. Holy crap, that's a lot of earrings for $15. Uh, we have a little gold skull. I don't wear gold, but there's a gold skull on this. That's $8. So we found something with a skull, and it's not Halloween anymore. So I also found these. These are $37.99, but they're very reminiscent of like Doc Martens and their memory foam. Because if you worn Doc Martens, they're uncomfortable. They're terrible. I have two pairs. This is what they look like, though. I mean, they're very Doc Martin-esque. They seem pretty sturdy. They have a zipper. Um, so they lace up, but they have the zipper on the side. Pretty thick. They're heavy, too, because they're $37.99. Me, personally, I like these. Those are pretty cool. These are, what are they? $39.99. That's, um, these are my vegan boots I'm wearing. But these are just plain, and those are more of a velvet. Problem with velvet is if you live somewhere where there's a lot of salt on the ground, not good. These are cute. I like these. They're kind of like a faux snakeskin. Those are cute. Uh, how much are these? Let's see. These are $37.99 also. So they're having some cool boots that you could make them gothy easily as well as these right here. I like these. These are probably my favorites because they're just really plain. These are probably also $37.99 if I'm guessing. Is that these? <gasps> no, <laughs> not goth, not goth, run away. Okay, so I found a few crazy things in the clothes. Check this out, $22. It's a faux leather skirt with the zippers and everything, 22 bucks. Do you know how much that would cost, like, back in the day at, like, Noir Leather or something in Michigan? And this is faux, which is great. This is cute. This is, like, a little, you know, keyhole. It's got little keyholes in the front. It's meh. I mean, it's all right. There's a really cool black dress right there that is nice. They have some really cool black pants. This is not bad. It's a little frilly, but you could got this up pretty nice, and that's 22 Actually, with, like, a... I have this really cool bra from Killstar that I could like wear under that. That would look badass. But I really like this dress right here. Oh my God, it's my size. It's 35 and I like the length of it. The length is really nice. Um, oh, here's that shirt again. I love this purple dress with a knot in the back. I love that shade. There's that shirt, 22. Kind of gothy, yeah? Black jeans, 25. 
We have a dead Muppet jacket, if that's your gig. Black dead Muppet, $40. I found a corporate goth skirt at Target. So I want you to see this. It's $22 and it's pinstripe and it laces up on the side. It's it's very reminiscent of the Killstar corporate goth stuff. Only this is only $22. Little wrinkly, but um, has a zipper in the back and a clasp. And they have a faux bomber jacket for $42. But this is what I really like. I don't know. I know this isn't like mega gothy, but I really like it. It reminds me of when we used to bleach stuff back in the day. Look at the bleach jean jacket. If I didn't have so many jackets, I would totally want this. And I also can't find how much it is. But we used to not have any cool pants or anything. So we used to just splash bleach all over our black jeans. And then here's the stretch foes. I'm actually wearing the Spanx faux leathers. I did get these at Target and this is like the Target version and these are not as thick but Target is great if you're looking for like the faux things. Oh my god look at this one. Look at this one. Okay I like this one better. $22. Really should I get this? This is really cute. Watch them not have my size. I like the lacing on the side. That's a great gothy Christmas skirt right there. That is really cute. Okay, then we have these that have the little open things on the hips. Uh, we have, oh, corporate goth skirt again. Yeah, they have a lot of, I, I kind of like these, but I don't want my hip fat sticking out. I like this, but I have so many clothes that I'm not gonna do it. But $22, very cute. If I needed more skirts, I would get the pinstripe and I get that. But I'm not going to do it. I'm being good. I think that's about it for this section. Um, they always have the little camis too, those little camisole tops like that right there. They're $3. Responsible style, made with recycled polyester, and they're 3 bucks. You get a bunch of these, you got a goth wardrobe. Let me tell you that. And like black pants, that's all you need. Like that and maybe like some you know, some kind of comfortable black pants or that and this. I mean, you don't have to be like outrageous goth. You can just wear black and simple stuff. That's what we did. We did not have choices. I do really like this though. I really like that with one of my big chokers or some long chains. My choker long chains and my Killstar bra under that would look so cool. But I have to stop buying clothes, so I'm not going to do it. Okay, let's keep looking. So I'm in um, jewelry and purses, and it's a little bit of a mess because I'm here after Black Friday. But they have all these, like, really cool, uh, like, Aquarius Gemini. Oh, there's my Capricorn. <gasps> there's my Capricorn one. I like the packaging with the moons on it. That's pretty cool. It's gold. I don't usually wear gold. I wear silver. I prefer silver. Uh, I like this purse. Cute purse. $18. Nice. I like simple black purses most of the time and usually about this size. I have a belt like this. It's one of my original goth belts is like this. This is something we used to wear all the time because we couldn't really find a lot of stuff. So we used to wear these. Oh my god. Okay, this purse is just really cute because it's so small. I could fit my guinea pig in there. I could carry around a guinea Okay, so not always, but occasionally you can find black hats like this at Target. That's when you want to grab one. This is very, it's the same size and shape almost as the black craft cult ones that are crazy expensive. Only this is 25. So, you know, your, your typical black gothy kind of flat hat. Uh, that one's gray. I don't like that. We want to stay with black. I would go with one like this. I love these. It's like my favorite. In the summer, I do like, like a big black floppy straw hat. Yikes, the 70s called. They want their upholstery back. Kind of cool. It's iffy. That's iffy. Um, there's that hat again. That hat is haunting me. It's everywhere. We've got some black over here. Look, you just go to anything black. Uh, just plain pants. Okay, I don't like these, and here's why. Look, see all the stuff stick into them? Be careful when you shop for stuff at Target. You get this, you get this fabric that everything sticks to. It's terrible. Especially if you have dogs. Okay, sadly, I think that's about it for the clothing. That's cute. I'm taking you where I find all my leggings. Eight fifty for black tights. It's large XL, blackout footless tights. A goth staple. Eight fifty at Target. Just get a bunch of those. 
They also have like some really cool ones. I like they have the leopard. These are kind of cool with the crisscrosses if you're wearing plain black. They even have these that have like the, you know, lacy kind of thing. They have all these patterns. And if you're wearing all plain black, these look really good. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Look at these thigh highs they have. <laughs> 10 bucks. Uh, I don't wear thigh highs, but those are kind of cool. And I like that a lot of these are the footless ones, so I'm trying to find... Okay, so they do have the Spanx here. They are more expensive, just so you know. So high-waist shaping tights, um, assets. These are the assets. These are the Spanx, like, assets ones. But see, they go up to, like, $30, $40 for these. And I think when I got these, I don't see them, but I think they were $40. Oh, wait, here they are faux leather shaping leggings. This is what I'm wearing right now. I absolutely love these. I'm just trying to find out like how much these are. And see it's, it has waistband with tummy control, faux leather, maximum opacity, and you really designed to hit natural waist, no muffin top. These things are great. I'm just trying to find out how much they are. Without them being in the right place, I can't tell you. So those are a little bit more, but still... Oh, and then there's these over here. Um, these are the oh, these are the faux high waisted Target ones. So these are like eighteen. So you get the Target ones for like eighteen if you don't want to do the Spanx. I should probably get a pair of these at some point and compare because these are I think like half the price of the Spanx ones. They're really comfortable too. They are. They're so comfortable. Okay, now we're into working on oh, an all black neck gaiter. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Oops. Dropping things. You know, Hanes leggings. EcoSmart, one pair. Those are 24. They're a little bit more. So, you know. Oh, you can also get cute black socks here. Look. Stripies and those. $9. Like, four pair. Those are about as gothy as it gets here. Not so much. Okay, so I've made my way to the Christmas section, but look what I found. I found Ultimate Pinhead. <gasps> Action figure. Oh my god, look at him. I'm very excited. He's going to be in my backdrop. And I got these for my hubby because he needs some slippers and they are black and cozy. So we're in the Christmas section because you can actually do goth Christmas at Target. They have these big black bows. You could also stick them in your hair. Haha. <laughs> but look at that tree. Look at the tree. Look at the tree. I need one of those. I'm making a wreath. Um, they have a good selection of black ornaments. So you can very affordably do kind of a gothy tree from Target with some of the ornaments or even the darker ones like that snowflake. And I would go with silvers. If you stay with silvers and blacks, you're good. But uh, yeah, you can get a lot of cool. See, that's pretty nice actually for not being traditional goth, but you can get the black ornaments here. We'll find them. Hold on. Okay, I'm going to be getting this black deer. He is $3. He's black and silver. Very cool. I like that. You also have this silver garland that's cute if you want to do a mini tree. I'm actually going to get a few of these black deer to go on my black tree because I really like them. I want to have like a few. And uh, you know, if you want to do something, you could do black and gold and you could do dinosaurs. Look, goth can be anything non traditional. Look, 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 right here. Look, there's a gray dinosaur you could put on your tree. Oh, he's nine. He's a gigantosaurus. He's nine dollars. He's expensive. But you could do, you know, a whole bunch of these little, oh, there's another one. I'm grabbing as many black deer as I can. So when you go to Target and you see black ornaments, grab them if they're a good price like this. Because you can do a lot with those. You can also do like the black deer and then you can go with like silver things. The crown's okay. Depends on how you put it together, really. I'm on the hunt for more black ornaments. Hold on. There's a little black stocking with deer on it. And that guy has a black hat on. Um, I don't know what this is, but it's really cute and it's black and it has giant ears. What is it? Penguins. You can always go with penguins too. If you're having trouble and you want to keep things black, go with penguins. Just saying. There's a little black truck that's sparkly with a tree in it. So just because we're spooking goth, you can still do Christmas stuff. Don't give me all that. Oh, there's red. oh no, there's red velvet deer. Okay, well now I need some red velvet deer to go with the black deer. <gasps> Headless deer, 
Do I get a different one? I'm going to buy a headless deer. Yeah, I'm in the market for some headless deer. I'm just going to get, I think, one of each of these to kind of go with. Oh, these are pretty too. These, um, these red ones that are velvet like this. You could do red and black. Although you do run the risk of being a little bit um, Harley Quinn. So if you want to avoid the Harley Quinn references, maybe don't do that. Uh, another suggestion, you get one of these. They're $5. You can hand paint these. Don't go and spend a bunch of money. Get these. Get some acrylic paints. And um, these have black in them, but they're also golden brown. You get these and you hand paint them with skulls and crossbones and whatever you want to put on them. You could do that on white or silver or black ornaments too. Just paint them. That's the best thing. And it's so easy. You really just need some good acrylic paints. And you can get really cheap ones at Michael's. Just go for like the Michael's brand ones and they're like the cheapest. Uh, let's see, anything. Y'all, the, the Christmas aisle is just too people-y. I'm trying to show you stuff and it's like too people-y. There's people around here. I've made my way over to the hair department and look what I found. It's $10, so it's not super cheap, but it is like 10 for two. But look at the moon hair clip. Kind of would love to get that, but 10 bucks is a little steep still. Um, it's a bow. You can usually find good just black hair bands like this. These are like a staple for me. It's just a black hair band. Also, you can get these black hair bands. Try to find the cheapest ones, and you can actually fix them up and put whatever you want on them. Oh, wait, don't look, don't look. Those are gifts for people. Oh, no, there's gifts in my basket. I did get my hanger, so. Okay, so I'm walking around this area. Mm, hand and body lotions, $4.99. You can always get good candles, too, at Target if you're looking for candles. So I am going to try to find you some affordable goth makeup. Okay, so let's see. What do I recommend affordable goth makeup at Target? Elf eyeliner is always a good one. You can always go with the elf eyeliner. Nothing wrong with it. Pixie tends to be cutesy colors. So uh, not so much. Although you can get like the, you know, in like $12. That's not that cheap. You know, you think Pixie is like really, really reasonable. And it's totally not really so much. Let's keep looking. Revolution palettes. The only one that I like here is this purple one. It's $8.99. Not bad. You got some purples in there, but you know, they don't have anything real dark. The green one is a little too light. Nothing real good in there. Good liquid liner. Epic Wear Waterproof. $9.99. So, and then there's Epic Wear uh, Epic Ink. Those are good. Not the cheapest, but... These are kind of cool. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We have black and silver sparkly. I don't like the gold ones, but I like these. $6.99. Hmm. Kind of tempted to get those and put those over my nails. And there's also a red, like a burgundy red. Okay, so I don't see like a gray or a black, but see this vanilla Maybelline, these single shades like this. I used to get these and use them to wipe my face out and make myself look paler. <laughs> True story, $3.99. You can really wipe your face out with those dusted all over. You can also use this, almost like a highlighter a little bit. Um, I'm just saying. Um, I always liked the Maybelline pencils and they are like so expensive now compared to what they used to be. Uh, where are we? Oh, more nail stuff. <sighs> okay, like, see, here's what's bad. I just want that nail. I want that nail, but the rest of these are ugly. I just want the three black ones. Oh, that sucks. I just want the three black ones, just like this. I just want those. I don't want the rest. Uh, oh, they do have uh, $5.99. They have black nail wraps here for $5.99. Not bad. You just If you don't want to paint your nails, but also if you want to do $7.99, they have like all black nails and they have these with the silver. Oh, those are like a blood red and they're shorter. Those are pretty cool. 
$7.99 if you can't afford to go and get nails done. Um, these are $11.99, manicure for 14 days, and these are all black. I have been looking everywhere for a black brow pencil, and it's brown. Please. They're all brown. I cannot find a black brow pencil anywhere. Why is this so difficult? I mean, this is soft black waterproof, and they don't have any. Uh, eyeliner pencil, uh, six forty nine all May. There's a soft black down here, but it's a pencil. Soft black. Well, I think we're going to try this one, people. I'm going to try a Revlon black pencil for my brows because I need a black pencil. I do not have one. Mm, these are not bad eyeliners either. These Revlon color stays are not bad. There's a chrome ink gunmetal liquid liner. $8.99. None of this stuff is bad. I mean, I like the Revlon stuff. I mean, it's obviously, you know, if you want to do the vegan, not tested on animals, don't do that. I am just in need of a black brow pencil. Then they have Milani After Dark Stay Put Eyeliner. Always a good choice, and sometimes I use these for my brows instead. The Milani eyeshadow primer is pretty good. Let's see what else can I recommend. There's not a lot. I gotta tell you. They do not have a lot of stuff at this Target. Um, <gasps> they have a Ebony Milani Precision Brow Pencil. And it's Ebony instead of soft black. Let's see. Spoolie, spoolie, spoolie. You know what? Milani's cruelty free. We're going with this one. See, this is why you have to look around. LA girl, very affordable eye makeup, and also uh, fine line, long lasting eyeliner. Uh, lip liners. The lip liners are only two ninety nine. I was looking because they have eyebrow enhancer. It's six ninety nine, and it's black as brown. But I wanted to show you this gel. Ooh, as I knock it over, I think this is the last one. This is an LA Girl Gel Eyeliner, intense color, long lasting, highly pigmented, $5.99. Can recommend this, Ooh, but go for the black. Because all they have is they have jet black, they have brown, brown. Go with the black one. It's awesome. That one won't go anywhere. Um, what else? So, yeah, Milani and LA Girl is pretty affordable, but eyeshadow wise, nothing really exciting over here so and lastly let's just look at the wet and wild and see if there's anything here okay see same thing they have they don't make a black wet and wild does not like a, a black um pencil the darkest they get is medium brown ash brown then you go into eyeliners setting powders from wet and wild aren't bad i would go a 429 Pro Line Felt Tip Eyeliner in the H2O Waterproofs. They're 429, 319. Wet and Wild, those are good. The retractables are good. The brow obsessive are good. Brow pencils, if you don't mind that they don't have black. None of their eyeshadows thrill me. I have not found one eyeshadow I really like here. So, yeah. But they are always empty here in their makeup. It's always really bought out at this Target, specifically. So, uh, I think I'm going to get out of here, guys. I think I'm done shopping. Uh, so yeah, sorry there's not more makeup here. Um, this isn't bad. This purple, I mean, four purples, not bad. The best you can do with a lot of these are sometimes the purples. There are a lot more good dark lip shades. Now there's like this on cloud wine that's really dark. You can find some really dark lip shades, which is good. But as far as eyeshadows, a lot of the drugstore stuff, well, especially at Target because they get so bought out, you can't find a lot. Oh my god, I remember oh, these Almays. Okay, this Elme, $5.99, and this Elme right here. They're like silvery purples. Look, I finally found Mulberry Moonlight and Lavender Haze. These are the only ones that I've seen here that you can do kind of a smoky dusty look with that are pretty reasonable. Is these two Elmes. That one's a little more of a mauve pink, 
I personally like lavender haze. This has been around forever. I think I bought that when I was like in high school. But then you get into like Neutrogena Elmay, they don't really have any dark colors. They're all very natural. So, okay, I'm out of here. I guess I'll just show you my face and me in Target. So <laughs> here I am looking like a weirdo in Target. So yeah, you see how empty it is behind me. They don't really have a lot of makeup here. I might have to do another kind of a low cost kind of shopping thing. My battery's gonna die. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.